All right, so I have, uh, I have five minutes, two topics, and a demo, so let's uh, just go. Um, so uh, first, um, if you haven't heard about our product, Tectonic, we like to say that it is secure, simple, current, pure upstream Kubernetes, and it's designed to make organizations and enterprises successful with Kubernetes. Um, up until today, we've had it available in a stable format um, for installation and management under AWS and bare metal. And I'm really pleased to say in bringing this whole portability message with Kubernetes um, to market that we're bringing preview support for Microsoft Azure and OpenStack um, with Tectonic. So, thanks. Um, so uh, Tectonic is available free up to 10 nodes. So you can try this out. Uh, I don't have time, so just check out coreos.com slash tectonic. Next topic. So um, with, uh, who's, who's tried out Helm in the audience? Great. Um, so what we uh, also are introducing is the ability to push, pull, and discover applications um, built with Helm through uh, Quay. Quay is our uh, container registry, and um, I'll tell you a little bit about it and show you how it works. So uh, if, you, if you tried it out, um, this will all be, be familiar with, to you, but you type helm create, it will create a directory with essentially all the things necessary in order to set up something for Kubernetes. So it might have a service or a deployment or a job, et cetera. And helm packages these things together for you and templatizes them. So you may have a values file, which is all the values that go into these templates for your service and your deployment. So it really helps to bundle and glue everything together. Um, I think we all have like ha hacky shell scripts that have kind of done this um, before the existence of Helm. And then you're able to install it. You're able to say, take this directory or take this name and install it into the cluster. Uh, and it'll deploy it as something that you can upgrade and manage over time. Um, what we're doing now is that Quay, which is our container registry uh, as software as a service at Quay.io and then also behind the firewall with Quay Enterprise, we're giving it the ability to take these um, Helm packages that you've created and then log into Quay, um, push them into Quay, and then install them from Quay. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll give a demo of this. And um, I don't often do this, uh, but wow, I have a lot of screenshots. Um, so uh, I don't often do this, but um, what I'm going to do is uh, play a video. And that's because I tried to practice this demo. Um, and I'm running on four hours of sleep, and this is my fourth talk of the day. So we're just going this way. Um, so uh, what I have set up is I have a tectonic Kubernetes cluster and then um, a proxy set up. I'm going to helm create the, uh, my cookie shop. Uh, this is the target app, is this cookie shop. Um, and I'm going to edit the values file and replace Nginx, which is the default kind of template for uh, Helm. I'm going to replace that with my cookie shop app that is already uploaded onto Quay. Um, the next step is that I'm going to log. Well, I've already logged into the registry, so I'm going to push uh, the app up into Quay. Um, and then it'll show up there with a version number. Next bit is I can take, um, now that it's installed and up available in Quay, I can um, deploy it from Quay. And I get a truculent crab shop. Um, it randomly generates a name. Um, truculent is a word I wasn't familiar with, but it means angry. And so uh, now the app has been deployed. I have uh, the service and the deployment done. And I can proxy in and get my cookie app. Woo! Uh, that's great. And so. The cool bit, um, you're just going to have to, the cool bit is that you can start to share these apps. And so imagine that I'm a developer that's working on this extremely important shop, and I, um, I want to get started with the current release, so I can pull down the existing things from Quay. Uh, cookie shop's in good business, so I need to increase replica count to two, and then I uh, deploy the new version of the app that I've been hacking on. I can take the truculent crab name, uh, tell Helm upgrade uh, truculent crab to this version that I now have just downloaded and hacked on on my, uh, <clears throat> on my laptop. And you'll see inside of Kubernetes, it's doing all the things that deployments do, doing a rolling update. And then if I go over, I should get uh, my updated app. This timing is awkward. Why did it stop? <laughs> all right, I'll get my updated app, and boom, uh, 
I've gone from full workflow from uh, initial application to uh, being shared on a repository. So um, with that, it's a spec that we're working on called App Registry. Come join us at github.com slash app registry. Some goals is we want to help have the community finalize the spec, build a reference implementation in Go, um, have Helm have this as a default plugin, and integrate app registries into all the public registries like GCR, or ECR, or wherever else your containers are hosted today. We want them to host Kubernetes apps as well. That's all I got. Thank you so much.